Which brings us back to what we heard at the outset, uh, the U.S. president telling not the world, but his own citizens, his domestic audience, there's going to be pain. Uh, Luis Calasante, I'm old enough to remember uh, 1979 when uh, there was the second uh, oil embargo by OPEC. And you had the then U.S. president, Jimmy Carter, wearing a sweater at the White House, telling people to turn their thermostat down. Of course, we know how the next election went. He got voted out of office. Uh, is, is, are citizens of the West ready to turn the thermostat down? It's a good question. I don't know exactly, but as the President Biden said that uh, this is a price to the freedom, I think uh, is we need to collaborate all together to make energy efficiency, to reduce our consumption in energy. The heating is one of the first uh, um, point that uh, we have energy consumptions uh, in the household. So it means that, uh, yes, we can turn on the thermostat and we are ending the winter time. So maybe it is a good time to start to make energy efficiency, energy saving, to reduce uh, our costs, or also to help in, in a way. We can donate money, we can send money and gloves to Ukraine but we can make also energy saving for help them. All right. And as we mentioned at the outset, uh, there is, uh, w w with what Dave Keating was reporting, uh, Europe in a much more vulnerable position already. The likes of Britain and Germany have ruled out any sudden boycott of Russian oil and gas imports. Uh, Germany, which has already suspended certification of the now completed Nord Stream 2 uh, pipeline, that's the part you see there in orange on the screen, uh, which flows from Russia and bypasses Ukraine. Now, with 55 percent of Berlin's gas coming from Russia, the Kremlin is now doing something it hasn't done up to now. It's threatening. It's threatening to shut the tap. Well, we need to remember that all company want to have a gun money at the moment that the oil price is higher, but at the same time is is the worst enemy that they have. To have high prices is really something that they don't have any control of the price. Or but aren't they, I mean, we uh, just saw Total Energy announce record profits. I mean, isn't it, isn't it or, high prices can't be bad for oil companies? No, I think, no. It's true that they will gain money. But in the same time, to have a high prices, they don't control anymore the price of the oil. Oil company, the business model have been basis control the prices with a cartel, with OPEP, all, all companies that have monopoly in the country or national companies. But now they don't control the, the prices. It's the market that is control the forward prices of the oil. So they lose control of that. And they don't like that uh, at all. By the way, uh, we're talking about uh, Germany being in the front lines of that threat by Moscow. The last time Germany had a social democrat as chancellor, he went on to become a top executive at uh, Russian companies Rosneft and Gazprom, uh, for which he was recently nominated to the board. And that has forced uh, the current chancellor uh, to react to the fact that uh, Gerhard Schroeder has so far uh, still stood by the Russians. I don't think it's correct for Gerhard Schroeder to hold these offices. And I think it would be correct for him to give them up. Whether or not it's harming the SPD, while everyone is aware we do not agree with that, I don't know, I don't hope so, and I don't believe it. But my advice for Gerhard Schröder is to withdraw from these offices.